everyone, it is the second video of my underwater lure series. So today's lucky lure is a chatterbait. It is a, I think it's candy craw um, color, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know. So I've got a little missile bait, swim bait on the back of it on a, this is a Z-Man chatterbait. So yeah, um, it's got the charcoal gray blade on it. He got it tied right there. And this, I just would like, I wanted to see how the blade looks underwater more specifically. And I wanted to show you different ways of working it and everything about the chatterbait that I know what to do and how to use it and everything. So I'm gonna be showing you the underwater footage of this, which I've already filmed, that's why I'm already wet. Um, so I've got it on my Lose Carbon ZR Speed Stick, which is a six foot 10 medium heavy, yeah, medium heavy fast action um, rod. I've got 20 pound fluorocarbon on it. I like using 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon for fishing chatter baits. Um, just because you'll be throwing it, you can throw it around and, and sometimes some brush and cover and grass. And I'd like some line that's a bit heavier. It's not like heavy braid, but it's something a bit heavier that'll help you horse these fish out of those tighter places. I will be showing you ways to fish it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video of the underwater footage of a chatterbait. Okay, hey everyone. So to start off with this little chatterbait, I was doing the typical, just straighting, straight up reeling it in simply. And then I, right here, I added some twitches. As you can see, the blade is giving off a ton of vibration in the water, which is really good because the lateral lines on the bass can pick up these vibrations to come find these lures to try to catch these fish. So right there, that was a good footage of seeing how much the lure vibrates in the water. Also, with the little paddle tail swim bait as a trailer on the back, that adds a lot of action because it can mimic the bait fish in your pond or lake. And that's really helpful because it's got a tail and so does the bait fish. And it just adds even more action than without a trailer on the back of a chatter bait. Right here is some footage without the trailer. And you can see that it's a lot different of a presentation, but it still has the vibrations in the water. But it also can be good because maybe it doesn't present itself as a bait fish. It could present itself along the bottom of the pond or lake as maybe a crawfish. So you can do multiple things with this lure. You can simply reel it in or you can even just let it go deeper in the water and give it a couple twitches every now and then. And that can catch some of those bass. So I appreciate everyone watching. I know it's a really short video, but I hope this video helps fellow anglers. Thank you all for watching.